Hi, this is Scott from LSDAC.com. Now that we've got our motor into the truck, I want to take a uh, measurement one more time of the angles of the motor itself before I move on to the transmission, and I want to compare that to the angle of the rear end. Um, what I've made here is just, uh, just a little um, um, driveline angle. Basically, it's a plumb bob with a protractor on it. Um, you can buy these uh, magnetic driveline uh, measurement tools, or you can buy just a, uh, an, an angle gauge from Harbor Freight or wherever. I happen to like this better because it relies solely on gravity. Um, they're really easy to make. I made it in about 10 minutes. And uh, I happened to be here and I didn't want to drive an hour round trip to go get a driveline gauge. And I've used these before, they work very well because, as we all know, gravity is the law. So, first thing I did was I made a level mark by sitting, setting this against a tall four foot level and I got my string lined up and I made a mark directly on level and I lined up my protractor. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure straight off the flex plate by aligning my tool on the, uh, the bolt hole that's at the 12 o'clock position and more or less straight up and down on the flex plate itself and I'm going to let the string swing out and I've made a mark there and that's what I'm calling my front or engine mark. Um, this motor sits only one degree from level as the truck sits um, on the lift, but in all honesty it actually sits about three degrees back and that's what we wanted to achieve in order to um, be able to accommodate uh, trucks like this that have a lowered suspension so we don't have an extreme driveline angle we have to repair with a, um, with a, a driveline shim. Okay, so moving back to the back of the truck now. moment this is just very rough. I'm not saying that we won't need a pinion shim in the rear uh, to adjust the rear end, but what I'm trying to accommodate is a truck that's lowered uh, from one to three inches, which seems to be uh, pretty common with these trucks. Now, just like I did before, I'm going to line the gauge up. Directly on my pinion, and I'm going to make my mark. Now at this point I don't have the rear end compressed, so you'll see I'm nowhere near the mark. And the reason I want to identify this is because when I actually made this mark, I compressed the rear end fully to a stock right height and I made my mark. And when I looked at my protractor, I determined that I have a degree, uh, angle degree of two degrees on the rear as opposed to when compared to zero degrees on the front. Um, I'm okay with that. It, we'll see once the truck is fully settled and set what it is one more time and I might end up putting a set of shims under the rear, but at the moment I'm pretty okay with the difference between the front and the rear being only two degrees. Um, but if you notice, I'm gonna show you the, the biggest mistake a lot of people make is if you have your truck up on jack stands and you take your measurement, you can see how far off the angle is, almost three degrees more, because the rear end is not compressed. It's really easy to do it because you climb under there and you take a quick measurement with your pinion angle gauge and you're way off and then you end up with a lot of driveline vibration. Uh, this has been Scott with LSDAC.com.